I know I'm about to take a swipe and or talk about a sacred cow. And I don't have shit to lose because you can't you can't sue me because I don't have anything. I was listening to Biggie Ready to Die album, which is by far in the top five greatest albums ever constructed. It's a classic. It's so good it could be a gospel album because it's uplifting. I'm listening to it and I'm hearing all this Puffy in the background. And I begin to think about Puffy as a person. I'm like, Puffy is, is poison. And this is the reason why I say Puffy is poison. No disrespect to Puffy. You know, take that, take that. But everybody that Puffy has come in contact with, either they are dead, in jail, or we don't know where the fuck they at. Or their careers have fallen out, which means they're still dead. Prime example, Craig Mack. Where is Craig Mack right now? We do not know where Craig Mack is. Craig Mack gave us flavor in the air. The beat was so hot they was playing it in churches. Reverence was coming out to flavor in your ear. And then the flavor in your ear remix came out with the bottles and the bad boy. And he had Busta Rhymes again. Wow! But we couldn't understand it. And we had LL Cool J and that Barracuda Electrocuta. We don't know what the fuck that verse was about. 112. Where's 112? Total. What happened to Total? Where's Total? They totally gone. This band, one girl was dating the brat, rumored, and the other ones, they just, they gone. They at daddy's house, sleeping in the basement. They concubines now. Faith, Faith was with bad, but what Faith at right now? We don't know. I, Faith left. She didn't do bad, but she ain't like she was when she was with bad. I guess it's something with Puffy in the background dancing. I, maybe Clyde Davis should dance in the background. Um, his artist video, I don't know. Carl Thomas, Carl Thomas had his first album, Emotional, classic album. You know how much sex I had because of Emotional? Carl left Bad Boy, we're Carl in there. He dropped the album, I don't know nothing about it. I, don't, I love Carl Thomas, album banging, first album, second album. Second album, not as good as the first album. But still, nonetheless, better than somebody's best efforts on a good day, Ray J. Shine, here's my theory on Shine. Shine fell off because Puffy tried to replace Biggie with a skinnier version of Biggie. And Shine sound just like <laughs> He just sound like he had swallowed Biggie's vocal cords. Black Rob came in and saved Bad Boy at one point. Like, whoa? Everybody played whoa. Black, white, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Cuban, Russian, German. He gone. We don't know what Black Rob is. He, he ain't even got a bootleg tape out. Black Rob out robbing black people. Loom. What happened to Loom? Loom was on Bad Boy. He was the pretty thug. He was the new Maze for them. He sound like Maze, but he looked like he took better care of himself, like in shape. He like Maze that had worked out. g Depp. What happened to g Depp? I don't even know what g Depp stand for, but his album was, it was, it was decent. It was a decent hip-hop album. Puffy was on a lot of it, but that's his fault. Hey, Special Delivery. Well, that was a hot song. They even had some FedEx logos in his video. And he had a remix with Ghostface. How you not succeed when you got Ghostface on your shit? Mace. Puffy fucked Mace up. I don't know what the fuck Puffy did to Mace. Mace was rapping, then he became a reverend. He was Reverend Mace. He was on TV doing long ass sermons because he sounded like he had a stroke. Then he stopped rapping. He stopped being a reverend. Then he went to rapping again. Then he back to a reverend. Okay, first of all, you not no reverend and rapping. Fuck that. Don't try to tell me God like hip hop to the point where you can rap too. I don't hear it. He had signed this chick named Tanya Blunt. He fucked over before she even got signed. She didn't know how I met. The locks. The goddamn locks. The locks was hot. Even if they put that damn song out, I did not like everyone, mother. I hated that shit. They left. They, they just like they couldn't get back on track. Once Puffy has a hold on people, he just do something. Like once you leave him, he like you leave me. I'm gonna fuck you, and then he gonna fuck you. Mario Wine is poor Mario. He should just go back to gospel. Everybody else in the family doing gospel. He tried to be R&B. Like old Puffy, then so lost your soul, bitch. Oh, the band. He brought them orphans together and put them in a house and tried to make an album. And then they had an album banned from TV and then they just ended up, ended up getting banned from fucking society. Sherry Dennis, her career was over before her album even dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard a single. Ain't nobody even tried to bootleg her album. Ain't nobody, it ain't even a line wire. You can't even get in a line wire. Line wire got everything. They even got Ray J. registered on the bootleg machine. I mean, even see, people even uh, bootleg Ray J from time to time. <laughs> they, they, probably don't mean, they probably don't mean to, but they bootleg Ray J. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call him Ray J. Brandy Brother. <laughs> we don't know him by his real name. <laughs>
Who was Ray J? Oh, that's, you mean Brandy Brothers? Oh, yeah, because Brandy be like, oh, yeah, that's Brandy Brothers. <laughs> Moesha Brothers. <laughs> Moesha Brothers. You wouldn't even know Ray J if it wasn't for Brandy. <laughs> Ray J, you working at Walmart in the electronics department. I'd be like, yo, can I get uh, John Madden? And he'd be like, hold on, I can't, I can't let you walk to the front with that. I got to walk with you. <laughs> he couldn't let you take video games to the front by yourself. He had no addition. What? Oh yeah, New Edition Queen. last album that didn't sell nothing but it went coffee. He had A Ball and NJG. These are people that he had he picked up that had careers that he fucked over and just completely put the stake in their heart. He had Casey or Cassie or whatever that chick name is. She couldn't sing. But she couldn't sing. But she was just cute. I mean she she she, she eye candy. But anyway. But she couldn't dance. She couldn't sing or dance. Yeah, young job, which was just young ass. I don't know what the fuck young jock is. But, Isn't he still around though? In spirit. He ain't around in spirit. He had this group called Boys in the Hood. And Young Jeezy was a part of that group. Oh. And he got away from Puffy. He like, he's like, hey, you ain't gonna hold me hostage, motherfucker, for the rest of my life. Fuck up my life. Dream, the little girl group, white girl group. He tried to cross over and do white girl group. And the, the parents were like, get the fuck away from that crazy black man. Gorilla Zone. Who the fuck is that? Man, who the nigga? He made Hood, that's a song? Yeah, but the name is Hood. Hood nigga? <laughs> you made a song called Hood nigga. <laughs> Rap his ass now. Uh, I don't write rhymes, I write checks. Danny Kane, whatever that shit is. He had Elephant Man? Elephant Man signed to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, B5, what the fuck is that? That group with the five brothers. Oh Man, my God. That's right, those light skinned kids. What happened? Yeah, I thought those were Tito Jackson kids. <laughs> day 26, which is a, uh, what's that, diet 112? Day 26. What is that, how many days you done gone without pay? <laughs> day 26, motherfucker, no pay. Puffy got our checks. Chris, Chris, who is Christian Daniel? Some dude, I don't know who he is. It's a I, dude? I, I don't even know if it's a, it's not like a clothing company. <laughs> Christian, <a> drink. Christian <laughs> Daniel? A liquor. It's like a cheap <laughs> ass alcohol. <laughs> motherfucker, you drunk off that Christian Daniel? Ah, man, we could've got boom farm instead. <laughs> In conclusion, I don't want Puffy to feel bad because uh, you was with Jennifer Lopez and not too many guys can say they slept with Jennifer Lopez. She left you when you needed her the most. At least her sister would go with you to court and find out if you gonna go to jail or not so she can know what she gonna sell to yours when your ass go to jail. <laughs> that nigga changed his name. He changed his name like he run from child support. This nigga done did it. Go in nowhere. Oh. We ain't. Guess that was the careers. What that? We ain't going nowhere. I mean, he got your soul, bitch. Puffy is a motherfucking soul keeper. Now, Shine ain't getting out. No, you lie. Shine ain't gonna shine no more. Shine gonna be dim when he get out. <laughs>